Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. We have defined invertible systems in the last video and also saw some solved examples on the topic. In this lecture, we will explore the property of invertibility for the following systems. We will not be going through the theory again as it was already covered in detail in the last video. So, those who need a quick revision, please pause the video here and go through the definitions once again. So, let us start our lecture. The first system we have is y of n equal to x of n minus 2. As discussed in the previous lecture, we will provide a standard signal as input to the system. Let us provide an input x of n equal to dou of n. The corresponding output will be y of n equal to dou of n minus 2. Now let us provide another input x of n equal to 2 into dou of n. The corresponding output will be y of n equal to 2 into dou of n minus 2. So, for distinct inputs, we are getting distinct outputs. Hence, this is an invertible system. Invertible system. Now, before going further, let us clarify a doubt most learners have. Let us take a look at these two output sequences. For the first case, we have y of 0 equal to dou of 0 minus 2, which is 0, y of 1, which is dou of 1 minus 2, which is again 0, y of 2, which is dou of 2 minus 2, which is 1, and y of 3, which is again 0. In similar fashion, for y of n equal to 2 into dou of n minus 2, we have y of 0 equal to 2 into dou of 0 minus 2, which is 0, y of 1 equal to 2 into dou of 1 minus 2, which is 0, y of 2 equal to 2 into dou of 2 minus 2, which is 2, y of 3, which is equal to 2 into dou of 3 minus 2, which is 0. Here, one might say y of 0, y of 1, y of 3, etc. are all the same in both the output sequences. So, how can we say that the output is different in both the cases? Aren't they both the same? The answer is no. The outputs are not the same. Individual samples of the output may be same in both the cases, but the output sequence is indeed different. For two sequences to be same, all the corresponding samples of the sequences should be the same. But this is not the case here. Y of 2 has different values in each output. This alone made the two output sequences to be different from one another. Okay. So, inputs dou of n and 2 dou of n are providing two unique outputs. I hope this is clear. Let us now try to find the corresponding inverse system for this system. We need to manipulate this equation such that we get x of n in terms of y. For that, replacing n with n plus 2 we have y of n plus 2 equal to x of n plus 2 minus 2 which is x of n. So our inverse system is w of n equal to y of n plus 2. Here I am simply using w of n instead of x of n to avoid confusion. Okay. Now, to prove that this is the inverse of our original system, let us cascade both the systems together. For our original system, the output is y of n and this is fed as an input to the inverse system. The output of the inverse system is w of n which is equal to y of n plus 2. 
we know that y of n is x of n minus 2. Therefore, w of n is equal to y of n plus 2 is equal to x of n plus 2 minus 2 which is x of n. Therefore, the output of the cascaded system is equal to the input to the cascaded system. So, it is proved that w of n equal to y of n plus 2 is the inverse of the system in question. Okay. Now, let us move to the next question which is y of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus k. Like before, let us provide x of n equal to dou of n as an input. The corresponding output is y of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to infinity dou of n minus k. Providing another input x of n equal to 2 into dou of n, the output will be y of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to infinity 2 into dou of n minus k. As you can see, distinct inputs are producing distinct outputs. So, this is also an invertible system. Okay, to find the inverse system, we have y of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus k which is x of n plus x of n minus 1 plus x of n minus 2 plus etc. Let this be equation number 1. Let us now find y of n minus 1 which will be sigma k equal to 0 to infinity x of n minus 1 minus k which is x of n minus 1 plus x of n minus 2 plus x of n minus 3 plus etc. And let this be equation number 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2 gives us y of n minus y of n minus 1 equal to x of n. So, our inverse system is w of n equal to y of n minus y of n minus 1. Okay. The next question is y of n equal to n into x of n. Here also we will provide the standard signal x of n equal to dou of n as an input. The output will be y of n equal to n into dou of n. There is a property of impulse signals which is x of n into dou of n minus n0 is equal to x of n0 into dou of n minus n0. Now if we write this as n into dou of n minus 0 and compare the RHS of this equation with the LHS of this equation, we can see that x of n is n and n0 is 0. So, this can be written as 0 into dou of n minus 0 because x of n0 will be n0 and n0 is 0, so this is 0. That is how we got the 0 here. So, output y of n is equal to 0 when the input is dou of n. Next, let us check the output for x of n equal to 2 into dou of n. The output will be y of n equal to n into 2 into dou of n which will be 2 into n into dou of n minus 0 and again using this property this output will also be 0. So as you can see two unique inputs are providing the same output which is 0. As a result this is also a non-invertible system system. Okay. Moving on to the next question, we have y of n equal to x of n into x of n minus 1. Giving x of n equal to dou of n as an input, the output will be y of n equal to 
ഡോ ഓഫൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ദ ഗ്രാഫ് ഓഫ് ഡോ ഓഫൻ ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഗ്രാഫ് ഓഫ് ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് വാട്ട് വി നീഡ് ഈസ് ഡോ ഓഫൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ സോ ഇഫ് വി മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ദ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ സാമ്പിൾസ് ഓഫ് ഈച്ച് ഓഫ് ദിസ് സീക്വൻസ് ഓൾ ദ സാമ്പിൾസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സീക്വൻസ് വിൽ ബി സീറോ ദ ഫോർ വൈ ഓഫൻ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ചെക്കിംഗ് ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് അഗെയിൻ ഫോർ എക്സ് ഓഫൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫൻ ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വിൽ ബി വൈ ഓഫൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫൻ ഇൻറ്റു ടു ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ബട്ട് വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് പാർട്ട് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ദ ഫോർ വി ഹാവ് ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റു സീറോ വിച്ച് ഈസ് സീറോ അഗെയിൻ ഫോർ ടു യുണീക് ഇൻപുട്സ് വി ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദ സെയിം ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് എ നോൺ ഇൻവേർട്ടിബിൾ സിസ്റ്റം ഇൻവേർട്ടിബിൾ സിസ്റ്റം നാവ് ലെറ്റസ് മൂവ് ടു ദ ഫൈനൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വി ഹാവ് വൈ ഓഫ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ വെൻ എൻ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ വെൻ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ വെൻ എൻ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് വൺ ആസ് യൂഷ്വൽ വി വിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ അസ് എൻ ഇൻപുട്ട് ദ ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വിൽ ബി വൈ ഓഫ് എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ഫോർ എൻ ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ഫോർ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ആൻഡ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ വെൻ എൻ ലെസ് ദാൻ ഓർ ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് വൺ ആൻഡ് വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഡോ ഓഫ് എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ഇസ് വൺ വെൻ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ സോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ വെൻ എൻ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇസ് സീറോ ഫോർ ഓൾ അതർ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് എൻ right because do of n is zero for all values of n less than or equal to minus 1 now we will provide another input which is x of n equal to 2 into do of n and the output will be y of n equal to 2 into do of n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 equal to zero for n equal to zero and equal to 2 into do of n for n less than or equal to minus 1 this will also be equal to 2 when n equal to 1 and equal to 0 for n not equal to 1 as you can see two unique inputs are producing two unique outputs so this is an invertible system let us try to find the inverse system for this system we have y of n equal to x of n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 or y of n plus 1 equal to x of n plus 1 minus 1 for n plus 1 greater than or equal to 1 or y of n plus 1 equal to x of n for n greater than or equal to 0 right in similar fashion we have y of n equal to 0 for n equal to 0 and y of n equal to x of n for n less than or equal to minus 1 so we have covered all the samples from n equal to minus infinity to minus 1 here and from n equal to 0 to plus infinity here therefore our inverse system is w of n equal to y of n plus 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and is equal to y of n for n less than or equal to minus 1 that's all for this lecture one important thing to learn here is that there is no systematic way to check the invertibility of a system you simply have to analyze the system In the next video we will discuss about the next property of the system which is time invariance. I hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will surely help you out. If you found this lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to our channel. 
Thank you for watching Topperly and have a great day.